Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Whoever, uh, whoever made this up the first time set this uh, set this picking point here so that the keyway is almost like a four there's a uh, five thirty six o'clock right there. Small spanner edge here. Get this back on to the floor gear here. All right. The other thing gets sitting back there and back there. You don't think that wire wheel uh, surface finish there came from uh, automatically just sitting back there. <laughs> no. no. i tell you what you got. You got to keep oil on your machine and your parts. And that's what keeps, uh, that's what keeps the rust down. time to time how come my stuff's not all rusty well right here is an example of a practice that anytime I put anything on here I do remove the rust off of it get some oil on it all right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we gotta grab up t-nut combinations and we're gonna get the sprocket mounted in there on the face there and uh, then I'm going to show you getting that set up, centered. And then I think uh, we're probably going to drag out that grinder finally. And I'm going to show you how to grind the first tool bit. And it's going to be a tree panning tool bit. Alright, we, we, we got this off the drill press. And we got our pattern crisscrossed straight up and down. And over here we got two bolts here coming in on the back uh, with nice uh, set up thick washers on the back side there. I actually tried to put uh, half inch T, uh, T nuts through the slots there, um, which I thought they would, but uh, somebody didn't finish this uh, facing head off and, you know, maybe, <laughs> probably never will happen, but it would be a project to get in there and redo the, uh, the T nuts. Um, and also I have T nut cutters and I'm sure that somebody would like to see T nuts being cut so maybe it might be a video in the future guys I <laughs> I have a lot of videos that are promised already and uh, I just got out all the stuff to do a flat belt uh, video so I'm kind of heading towards that way to start catching up on some of the ones that I've already promised out but uh, hey let's get this in here um, I'm using a Bessie clamp one of the few clamps that I would trust to hold a load like this um, these things are just fantastic and it's also nice and thin on the back side so I'm going to be able to get my studs at least started and in that position oh and before I forget that I want to make sure that get that locked Ha <laughs> ha
All right, after all the bullshit, <laughs> this is what we come up with that's actually going to hold this thing. And we're just taking our regular mill clamps and we're screwing one stud all the way down on the nut. And we've got a, uh, a slotted configuration on the back side here. All right, and pull our last one out of here. Put our last one in. And then we're going to get our bell center in. We're going to come in and we're going to get that to locate center. And then we're going to tighten up our four bolts. And then we'll be ready to start uh, planning for our tree pan. And we're going to plunge in halfway on this side. We're going to flip the plate around and we're going to plunge in halfway on the other side. And we're going to cut the center section of this sprocket right out of here. All right. So basically, we're just, we're, we got the bell center in, in here in the center and so we are running we're running true center right now and we're going around and locking up our four clamping bolts some weight on here you can hear them spur gears really working back there but we don't have to spin it up that fast anyway in fact we're actually going to be spinning quite slow um, to do the tree panning uh, a plunge cut straight in here um, we, uh, we may not even be going that fast We'll see. We're looking through. We're looking through some of our boxes here um, because some of these boxes I've. Uh huh. This might have something in here. You see, I don't know if this is tool steel or that's parallel. I'm looking for something to make the part off tool to plunge in there. So I, I'm, I'm looking for pieces of tool steel and I do have a piece of uh, quarter by half by four uh, Super Momax Cobalt which is a it's a good piece but if I could find three sixteenths I'd probably be a little happier. I think that's parallel material. Everything cleaned out some of this junk. Just got boxes. I got so many boxes. Um, anyway, these uh, these rotating units right here, just like on the bottom. Now I've restored this box and just give you a quick glimpse here. And just a quickie on this uh, one one or two box I got on this here. I'm restored. This actually was destined for kindling and uh, and I completely went through it uh, in a boring winter, winter and uh, remade uh, the, the uh, window uh, mirror out of hickory. Dovetail it just like the box. Felt line the entire thing even the side of the drawers. Felt line the, uh, the bottom of the cabinet so it wouldn't scratch the door redid the label and then liked it so much I went ahead and redid the, uh, the one on the back that I superimposed 
These are just rotating units out of a hotel. Uh, the TVs mount on them. This right here is an old Craftsman box, completely restored. The plastic handles, they're a little tarnished now, they're turning green, but they're all bronze. Um, and I haven't lined the drawers yet. This is going to be all done with black felt. And uh, so that's, uh, that's my take on boxes. And I came up with the idea of mounting them on the swivels. I've got six toolboxes, actually, but you know, I'm going to say six. These are just lower sections for these big boxes here on a two by eight foot table. Tip on saving room. We're getting a grinder pull out of here and we're going to take it on around to the front of the shop there. So, because uh, as I got this going on and I'm going to need it to grind uh, this tool bit for this plunge job. And we also need to go ahead and start making the base so that the the, the Chinese inferior uh, grinder, <laughs> well, it's not inferior anymore, right? But it's going to mount back to back with this unit. Um, while I'm on my way out of here, I just wanted to point out, here's another box I acquired. All right. Now, this is let go up here and the weight of everything that's in. I mean, all of these drawers here. I mean, I, I haven't even gone through and cleaned out. But everything, the weight of this is all down on these three drawers. I have not looked in these three drawers at all. Um, so, one of these days, I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart and empty this thing out and actually find out what is in these three drawers. Um, hey, you know, it's, <laughs> they definitely are not going to get ruined by leaving them in there. <laughs> You, you only can damage something if you use it, right? Uh, uh, okay. All right, let's go get this in the front of the shop. All right, we pulled our impeller off of our... Um, in fact, we're going to need a, a rag here. All right. We're just going to dust it off real quick and... Get a glimpse of it. All right, and there's the uh, suction side of it, and uh, pretty clean. Looks like uh, you know we got uh, more than enough material in there. And here's the back side. There again, the same thing, and uh, enough height. Here's our braze repair for there and we got plenty of material out here to dress that we'll grind this on smooth and we have one little dimple sticking through the uh the hole that we prepped there and that looks good all right so we're going to move this on out of the way here so we can start playing with our grinder here